Well, it's Valentine's Day. And I'm in the middle of gifts, subs. Yeah, she's buried with love. <laughs> it's love, subs. I'll give you your card. I got it. Uh, yeah. And I got a curb. Mm -hmm. Wow. You must love me. And stuff. Move my fire. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got my love some stuff. Get stuff subs. Yeah. I get the Waffle House oh, 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 oh. stuff out of the way here. And the drugs. There we go. Yeah. I got puppy subs. They had to her pet collection. He's being a head. My collection is. We went to Walmart one day and she saw this dog and I was like, oh, I'll have to come back and get it. Went back, it wasn't there. Went back like two or three more times and it wasn't there. And then one day we were together and there was one on the top shelf. So I had to gank it. And then the crazy thing, I actually forgot the package. When we were checking out, we had all our regular bags so we put our stuff in and I forgot to bring the dog. I went, back and got it. I went back and luckily no one took it. <laughs> and they just turned it in. Or else the person that's usually standing down there where we have self-checkout, yeah. the person that's usually standing there, somebody probably brought it to their attention. They took it to the customer service. I'm glad somebody was honest because, yeah, they could have uh, walked off with my love dog and then I'd have been SOL. That's fine, sir. And then I'd have been like, oops, what do I do I now? I didn't even notice because, he, well, he was bagging up stuff. You know, I was giving it to him, and he was bagging us. And um, I didn't even notice until he said, "Where's the dog? Where's, do, do you have the dog?" And I think at first I was like, "What dog?" You know, and I was like, "Oh no, because uh -uh, I because I put everything away." You know, and I was like, "No, I can see." It. Well, you know, and he he went all back. Of course, you know, he's cussing and carrying on. So you know, he he went all back, but it, he came back. Yeah, it was buried in a cart. Out of the bag and everything. Luckily, it didn't get dirty because there's all sorts of stuff buried. And did you read what it says on the front, on the front of the dog? Whoops! <laughs> it says, "I will feed." <laughs> He's mine, subs. Yeah. He's a basset. Yeah. Physical basset hound. Yeah. I got a yeah. And then I got you your chocolates. With love. It's love subs. <laughs> he subs. I know that's not, probably not good for your blood work coming up. What? My sugar level's okay. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's just about potassium. Don't add on it. That's something totally different. Yeah. But they got me taking this potassium powder subs. It, it, it comes in like little envelopes, little packets. You get seven, you know. So I guess if they, if my, if that brings up my potassium, then I'll probably get more. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. I'll go on um, Wednesday. I'm so sick of going back and forth for blood work. I don't know what to do with myself. That's the only thing. Everything else is fine. You know, but. Oh, this is Hershey's. Yeah. It's Hershey's pot of gold subs. Or truffles. It's truffles. Milk and dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate because it has antioxidants in it. So I like the dark chocolate. Yeah. I got it with love. For it's love subs. Yeah. Do I have some chocolate? No. Not it's now. Too what? It's only what? 1020. It's early It's only like 20. No. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with him, sir? <laughs> well, I'll open your curd, and then you can open my curd. Oh, okay. Ooh, Valentine, you're so cute, it kales me. You're such a sweet potato, I really care it about you. My heart is so full of love for you, it leaks. It's got all these vegetables on here, that's funny. <laughs> it's comical, Sibs. Peas? No, it's a little corny. 
but I will love you to the end of time. In time. <laughs> oh, well, it's time. Yeah, the herb. The herb. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's funny. Yeah. You can open yours. I'm opening my zips. Yeah, when I got this, they had that in the in the Valentine section. I didn't realize it until like, when I got home. I was like, Why did you keep it for our anniversary? I didn't have another card to give you. So like, <laughs> it has anniversary on there instead of Valentine's. And I didn't know it. It was in somebody stuck it in the Valentine section. Show the subs. Show the subs what you did. I, did. I crossed out Happy Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> he crossed out happy and he crossed out the anniversary and wrote in Valentine's Day. So I was like, what am I gonna do? I mean, I didn't have a get, red pen. Get another card. I didn't have time. I discovered it like a little while ago. So I'm like, <laughs> what's wrong with him, Subs? But you're a wife like no otter. Life with you is otter this world. And I'm utterly in love with you. <laughs> What's wrong with him, sis? I'm going to keep this forever. I'm like, look at this here. Look, look at this here. <laughs> I, know. I was like, oh, this is the perfect card. Didn't even read. I looked. I read the inside. I was like, yeah, that'll work. I didn't even read the front. Oh. <laughs> Let's try to make up for my mistake. What's wrong with him, sir? <laughs> what is wrong with him? Uh, I woof you. Oh, do you? Yeah. I, I don't know what's wrong with him. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. What, what did you get me for Valentine's? You think it's worth putting on video? Yeah. Oh. You want to. Get you no junk? What do you mean? Sometimes you surprise me with stuff that, oh, this shouldn't be on camera. No, that could be on. Oh, this could be on camera? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh! You got me sh shirts. girl loves me because she knows I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. They can continue the search, you know, the saga continues in a few months. Oh, for football you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they can try again. I had to get the bigger one and they made him have his size and I wanted I wanted him to have that shirt because he don't have one with that little no. broken table on it that they, they do. Yeah. yeah, see they do that. That's not my generation. But... Oh, that's new? Yeah, that's actually... Oh, I don't see. I don't know. Yeah, that's actually something that started, I think, maybe... It was after the Super Bowl era. It's a Bills Mafia thing you wouldn't understand. I think it's a wrestling thing, actually. It was picked up by uh, the, I think it was the Dudley Boys back back in the day. They that was what their that was their catch thing. They would always bust through tables. And, uh, That's how they all got crippled up when they got older. Yeah. And now this younger generation, you see videos on YouTube where they're breaking through tables and stuff. I'm like, I don't think I'll do that. Now there's some that will, you know, for. I think one guy beat cancer in Buffalo, and he broke through a table. Oh, did he? Yeah. And, uh, I think Andre Reed, he climbed up in a tree and went through a table and actually landed good where he didn't cripple himself. <laughs> yeah, he was our wide receiver during the four Super Bowl uh, era. So, yeah, we got some nuts. Why do men do that crazy stuff, sir? You, you rarely see women doing stuff yeah. like that. Rarely. <laughs> And you can always tell when there's no women around because nobody's saying, don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, or, some of the women will egg them on. Or, why, you know, we're not talking about those clowns. Right. 
You know, because if somebody get hurt, everybody gonna say, "Well, I didn't tell them to do it." <laughs> I didn't know. How, how do you not know? Jumping from someplace high onto a solid object, you couldn't get hurt. Who don't know that? Oh, what are the odds? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my love. You're welcome. I could. I, I. I had to look for stuff subs. Yeah. Well, when I bought these, they were still in the hunt. Oh really? Yeah. They were still in the hunt when I when I when I bought these here. So I figured he would wear one of them for the Super Bowl. You know. Oh. But you know, I knew we weren't going anywhere. You know, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, we true. need to rebuild. We need to get a new quarterback. We need right receivers. Yeah. You know, we need running backs. We need all we need everything. Well, the Bills and Sterlers are playing again in twenty twenty one. We used to didn't play them. I don't know what's what's going on. We used to didn't have to play them, but whatever. Yeah. Now we're playing each other. Now we're playing subs. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. But so we didn't have our usual crab legs. I no, forgot. You yeah, know. yeah, we actually did. I mean, I, with my work schedule, and you know, I've actually got a few days off, which is nice because my coworker canceled her vacation, so I was like, I'll just go ahead and snag. Tuesday, because I'm off on Monday, and then I'm off Wednesday, so I was like, yeah, I'll just have a four-day four weekend. Yeah. Be with my live. So, yeah. And, and you got customers coming later on. Yeah, so. I might have some taxes to do, so I'll get some extra money for my live. Because you're meat subs. Yeah. So, but yeah, so we thought we'd just share our Valentine's uh, giftses with you guys. Yeah, they're giftses. You got your, your chocolate with blue. Mm -hmm. And my puppy, he's mine. So. Yeah. What you gonna name him? Mm. I don't know. I'll figure out something like this time we we'll buy. No. Oh. Yeah, people were snagging these subs. Yeah, there was only one left. Every time I went back after we got this one, there weren't any. Mm -hmm. So, I had a whole bunch of bears. I mean, everybody's got bears. So, I wanted to be, you know, get, get her something unique. And different. Woofy. Yeah. And they had a couple times they had wolves. They're gone too. Yeah. So you still got that one dinosaur I got you. That, um, oh, yeah. He's, he's laying in the chair again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what was that uh, saying? Um, you remember what it said that I, um, I'd be. Extinct. Without you, I'd be history. Yeah, without you, I'd be history. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it was sexy Rexy. Yeah. Well, funny thing was when I went to pick up these flowers, the place I get them from, they were running out, and I wasn't going to get them on Saturday, but chances are they would have been out of them by then. So I went after work on Friday, and there's a young kid in there getting flowers, I guess for his girlfriend or whatever. He got six of them. Well, he probably can't afford a dozen, you know, a dozen roses aren't cheap. No, you know, they're not. He, you know, he probably can't afford, he got what he could, <laughs> you know, you have to, if he's a young kid, yeah. you know, I mean, you get what you get what you can afford. I was, I, first thing I thought, I was like, well, no, I, I actually, you know, he's like, yeah, this this should probably work, you think? I was like, well, six flowers, I'm getting a dozen, dude. I told him flat out, well, oh, you think you think I'm getting enough? I was like, well, I'll tell you what, if you're going to get six, you might want to pick one of these bears just to make sure. Valentine's Day is one of those days you don't want to screw up on, and, you know, here I get an anniversary card, well, I screwed he, up. if he doesn't know how many flowers <laughs> he gets, this is probably his <clears throat> first Valentine's Day with somebody. You know, if he doesn't know, well, no, the but then maybe he don't have the money. You know, you have to yeah. go by your budget. Well, I don't know. If it was me, I'd been like, I, you don't want to take shortcuts on certain days, and that's one of them. So, yeah, that's just me. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I'm like, you know, six, six flowers. I don't know, dude. That's like half, half the love, or you know, I care about you, but. Well, like I said, <laughs> if this is his first Valentine, obviously he didn't know. Yeah. So this is his, maybe his first. I gave him advice. I was like, if you're going to get six flowers, you might want to pick a bear out or something. Just kind of make up for the, you know, difference in flowers. You know, I was trying to give him pointers. You know, this is from someone who. Or a box of candy. Yeah, something. Yeah. Well, they didn't have any candy there. Uh -oh. It was just mostly flowers. You can get and candy gifts. anywhere. Yeah. You can pretty much get that. But, uh, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. but, I mean, at least he's putting in the effort. Some people don't even put in the effort. You know, so, 
and he he seems like he really wants to do it. I mean, he actually went to a flower store. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, he didn't go, go to Walmart just right. pick up a bouquet. He actually went to yeah. a flower store. A Walmart, uh, Walmart creature bouquet. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, but then, like I said, nowadays, you know, people have been, you know, they haven't been working. You know, you have to take all of that into consideration. You know, if you're going to try to be ungrateful, I can't stand that. I can't stand people who are ungrateful. You know, but, you know, knowing people's situation these days, Mm. you know, so, and women, we need to stop that. We need to stop it because it's not necessary, you know, and then don't sit around there and tell people, oh, that's okay. You don't have to get me nothing. And then when he don't get you nothing, you want to have an attitude. (laughs) I mean, stop, just stop that. You know, if you want something, tell him. You know, if he's able to get it for you, he can. If he can't afford it, he's going to tell you. Look, I can't afford that. You know, pick something else. Now, if you want to get an attitude knowing he can't afford it, you're just an idiot. Yeah. Pure and simple. You're Let's, just a moron. See, her birthday is February 10. It was, you know, four Wednesday. days ago. Yeah. But she prefers Valentine's Day because... They're too close. They're so close together, yeah. You know, that's way too close. Mm-hmm. You know, so... So, like Wednesday, we really didn't do anything, you know, for her birthday. But here it is, Valentine's Day. And, oh, yeah, I treated you out to um, Burgers and Barley. We went and just got something to go. I didn't yeah. make a video or anything. And I was still hungry, so I went to Waffle House and got my love uh, some waffles. That ain't why he went to Waffle House. <laughs> you know, that ain't why he went to Waffle House. I was actually craving a, a chicken melt and some bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. So I got those, too. And ate all of them. I ate all of them. See, that would make me puke. <laughs> to eat like that. I, uh-huh. I mean, what I got from burgers and barley, I ate half of it, you know, for lunch. And then later on, you know, after he got back from Waffle House, I ate the other half. You know, I don't, I don't, and it was just a, a big sandwich and some steamed broccoli. But I got a double portion of the broccoli because I like my vegetables. Yeah, those, that was actually good broccoli too. So yeah, it was. I like I like the broccoli. It's real tender, you know. I, I like it. Whatever they use to steam it, I wish I had a steamer. I would use it for my vegetables. Oh, I guess that's a hint. I think I need to look for a steamer for my love. No, you know, but steaming your vegetables is better than boiling them because it does leach out the vitamins and minerals. It ends up in the water. Yeah, that, that's probably another thing to talk about too. Gifts. What kind of gifts? Like you don't want to get your your Valentine. A vacuum, or you don't want to get it up for her birthday. No, you don't want to get it up for Christmas. You don't want to get it up for anniversary. Don't give appliance unless she specifically says, "You know yeah. what? You know what? You can if you don't know what to get." And she, well, you know what? I need this. <laughs> you know, I'd really appreciate it if if you got this. Then that's different. You know, but that's like giving somebody a hose. <laughs> what the hell are you gonna do with a hose? This is. I mean, like a wife or a wife or girlfriend here. I got you a present. It's a hose. And like, what is that? Not well, like I said. Unless he specifically <laughs> asks for a hose because he needs one because his is like on death's door and it's is, leaking. Is that to make up for for his um, his? Well, yeah. If you get a dumb gift, oh well. <laughs> I mean, I never hurt anybody's feelings. Yeah. So it's because if, if if he's putting in the effort, you know you're. You know, like I said, I, I was never like that. I was never hard to please or anything like that or made fun of them or made them feel bad. I mean, I never did any of that, you know. But, you know, be specific. I mean, if you want a certain thing, tell them. If you don't know what to get you, tell them. But don't sit up there and say, oh, that's okay. I don't want anything. Yeah. And then you're going to act like a moron when you don't get anything. Mm. You know, because he's going by what you said. Yeah. So instead of getting mad at him, look in the mirror and get mad at your damn self. <laughs> because you're the reason, stupid. Oh my. But, mm-mm. And show appreciation for what he does get. Don't, when he gives you something, say, oh, okay, and just set it to the side. Okay, that means, guess what, you didn't appreciate what he got, and you may not get nothing next time. Because if you don't appreciate it, why should somebody put in an effort to something that you act like, Oh, okay. Like you don't care about. Because if you don't care, guess what? Next time he's not going to care. Yeah. And then you're going to sift and Well, why did you? Because you didn't you didn't appreciate the last one. Why would I keep doing it? My name ain't Bobo, the Bobo. fool. <laughs> As we say up north. My name is not Boo Boo or Bobo or whatever. We pick one of them. Yeah. 
Yeah. My name is not Boo Boo or Bobo the Fool. <laughs> no. When I got it for you last time, you act like you didn't want it. So guess what? I didn't get it this year. Problem solved. You know, so, but people, and then people expect too much. You know, they want necklaces and bracelets and all this shit. Everybody cannot afford diamonds. Everybody can't afford that. I mean, come on now. And even if he does save up his little bit of money and get you a... Oh, that's too small. Bitch, be <laughs> glad you got that. Because he didn't have to get you that. But if, you know what? There's women out there, you're never going to please them. Then there's women out there, you can please. You know, some women like me, you know, I like little things. I don't really like big gaudy stuff. You know, I like I like little stuff, you know. But some women they, they want too much and they give nothing in return. Believe me, laying down and opening your legs, that's that's not a gift. <laughs> that's not a gift. No, anybody can do that. That's not a gift. You know, oh, please. Any, anybody? Yeah, anybody can do well all any woman can do that. <laughs> Well, I guess men can do it too. You know. We'll dissect that topic. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, but women, I mean, they kill me being ungrateful. They kill me with that shit. Especially young women. I mean, when old women do it, that's even worse. Because your old gray ass should know better. <laughs> but these young silly women coming up now, they think you're, if they ask for it, you're just supposed to give it to them. They're not supposed to work for it. You're just supposed to hand it to them. I don't know where they got that from. There, it's expected. Yeah, Something it's like, expected. It's not right. appreciated. It's expected. And once it gets to that point where somebody's expecting you to do something, they don't they don't appreciate you doing it. You need to rethink and reevaluate your relationship because they're already showing you what to expect as time goes by. Now, if you feel you can deal with it, that's fine. If you feel you can't, it's time to move yeah. on to somebody a little bit less choosy. <laughs> People watching some of those choosy beggars. Yeah, I watch them videos all the time. I mean, on YouTube, choosy beggars. I mean, it's just ridiculous yeah. what people expect for free or very little money and no effort yeah. on yeah. their part. That's just ridiculous. Why would you do that? And then when somebody, you know, they don't want to be bothered with you anymore. Oh, you're answers. just cheap. You're the, well, yeah, well. Yeah, move along. Nothing to see here. Try and find somebody like me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you won't once they find out what you really like. You know, but people yeah. people kill me with that. You know, they kill me with that. Or they want they want to show off to other people, try to make people think what belongs to their friends belong to them. Yeah. You know, they want to borrow their friend's car or something else that belongs to their friend. What do you think she's going to do when she finds out that doesn't belong to you? <laughs> You know, you were just fronting and perpetrating. That that doesn't belong to you. Sooner or later, they're going to find out what you're going to do then. You know, because you lied. Just be yourself. If you can't be yourself, then don't even bother. Because that's just ridiculous. How are you going to try to act like you have more than what you do? And then she follows you home when you live in a lean-to. <laughs> what? How you got this big expensive car and, and we're coming in here in the woods in a lean-to. That's where you live. It's a love shack. You live in a cave. <laughs> you got to move the boulder to get out in the morning. <laughs> oh, but you got this fancy car. Yeah. Yeah, that's, you know, she's going to be looking at you like you crazy. Okay, take me home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. That's funny. Uh, but you know that's happened. Yeah. Well, there you go. Some Valentine advice from from Kate. Yeah. Because, yeah, get old Wolfie's staring at you. Yeah, he know. Yeah, he's like, him Wolfie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knows. I mean, just just stop being ungrateful. If somebody took their time to actually went out to look for something and get you something, you know, show appreciation because they didn't have to get you anything. And the part that kills me is usually the person who's griping didn't get anything. You know, oh, well, this is this what you got me? She didn't get him anything. <laughs> <clears throat> but she complaining about what he got her, but she didn't spend the money to do shit. And not only that, now she's going to want you to take her out to dinner. 
<laughs> and spend more money, even though she didn't appreciate what you, what the little effort you put in. And I never did that. I never cared what restaurant we went to or whatever over the years. You know, I that I that never really bothered me. You know, so oh I, Applebee's. I don't want to go now I've never been to Applebee's. I did a we used to go in and get takeout. My mom liked I don't even remember what it was, but she liked um something in Applebee's. So um before she passed, we took her, you know, a couple me and my sister took her a couple times and we had takeout, you know, she wanted to go home. So you know, we got that. Some women don't complain about that. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go to Texas. I love Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, we'll have to go there. I love their food. Their food is good, and it's cheap food, but it's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, up north, they have Eaton Park. I love Eaton Park. I didn't care about going there. I mean, on Valentine's Day, that place is packed. Oh. You know, because nobody, I mean, you don't mind going there. They have, it's like a, a home cooking restaurant. <coughs> and it's up in Pittsburgh. I don't know where else it is. But I know it's in Pittsburgh. Well, I know this with all this COVID crap going on. I'm I'm a little hesitant to go to a restaurant. I'm more into you know going to pick it up or have it delivered, and we can just enjoy the meal with each other. Yeah, you know, and yeah. whatever. I mean, but don't sit up there, Dad. You can only afford to go there. <laughs> well, where could you afford to take me? Take it to the old Huddle House, which is like Waffle House. Uh, that, actually, Waffle House is a, is not bad. It's, it was originally like a truck stop mm -hmm. restaurant, and uh, all of them are, you know, like the same shape and size. I think, uh, uh, was it Jim Foreman told me they're like based on a, si a certain size of a, a trailer, and they're, all of them are the exact same size, same exact layout pretty much. What, what, so, what is this? Uh, the Waffle House. Oh, the Waffle House. Yeah, the buildings are, you know, if you ever notice them, they're all the, pretty oh, much I the never, same size. I never paid any attention. Because yeah. I've, only, I've, only I've only been there, I think, four times. Yeah. I think four. You've never been before, and then I took you, and you're like, oh, I love Waffle House. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Because like, I think they have Waffle Houses up in, there's none in Pittsburgh. You have to go, if there is any, you have to go on the outskirts. Yeah. But there's none within the city limits, no. There's none. Cool. But I had heard of it, you know, but. We didn't have, I mean, but they'll take you, I mean, I don't care. You know, like I said, people, you go to Eaton Park, you go to IHOP, people like going to IHOP. Like taking you to Arby's. You, you like know, Arby's. Yeah, I like Arby's. I mean, <laughs> that's, that doesn't bother me, you know, because if he already spent money to get you gifts, and then he wants to take you out, don't be picky, you know, and act like, you know, he's less than, just, well, well I don't want to go there. And, but, every, yeah, but, your, but your other boyfriends never took you any damn where. Yeah. Didn't even think about. Didn't even think about bringing you anything. But you didn't complain about that, <laughs> you know. But then when you get somebody that is going to do for you, then that's when you want to show your ass. Well, that's fine, you know. But as word gets around, nobody's going to want to bother with you, <laughs> you know. Wow. Yeah, because laying on your back don't solve everything. Eventually, you got to get up. <laughs> what you going to do then? <laughs> you know. So no, that's not a gift. <laughs> You know, it's only a gift when you're when you're a virgin and you're getting married. Then that that is you know that's a gift. But oh baby, no. <laughs> if you got it, if you have a child by every boyfriend you ever had, give me a break. Yeah. That ain't no gift. Here's that's your... sloppy seconds, thirds, and probably tenths. <laughs> There's your Valentine's gift every year. Yeah. <laughs> Hoping you don't get diseases. Oh my god. That's your gift. That's funny. Well. There you go. Hope you had a good Valentine's Day. We're going to enjoy the rest of our day together yeah. on a gloomy, cold, dreary, rainy Carolina winter. It's pretty much what we get It was down so here. cold yesterday. Oh. So that's another reason I didn't, I didn't want to go. I usually don't go anywhere. Yeah. So I just stick around the house. You know, we go out periodically, you know, but mm, not really. Yeah, it got to like 34, 35 yesterday. Today it might get to 38. Oh, heat wave. Oh, man. We're moving up in the world. So yeah, it was cold, and yeah. you can see your breath out there. It yeah. was cold and windy and damp and and raining. It was pouring down rain at, at mm -hmm. you know certain intervals. It was terrible. So I'm like, I oh, just stay in the house. Yeah. Well, thank you, my love. Yep. For my present. Mm -hmm. You got gifts to say. Yeah, I got gifts. -ses. You got gifts. -ses. I got gift subs. Yeah. We're all happy and mm -hmm. stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, hope you had a good Valentine's Day. And until the next thrilling video. That's it. Yep. Adios. Yeah.